Hello everyone and welcome back to another video today. Janine and I are heading into Unique on Long Island. We're gonna take a look and see what they have. We're hoping for some good Easter stuff. So let's head in and see what they've got. This is cute. Little paper bunny egg. Sees candy. Hmm. Oh, who's he? What's he doing in there? I think he's maybe a chick. I'm not too sure. I'll have to look at him in a second. Oh, look at all these different Easter bunny things. This is sort of cute. Korea. This is a cute little tin snack. Got some nice designs. Two fifty. It's cute. This thing is pretty cool. It's like a roller skating bunny, and it's made in Taiwan. It's really cool. This is maybe the scariest thing I've ever seen in my life. I hate that. We've got a lot of Easter here, but none of it looks too vintage. Really cute stuff though. This is meant to look like a vintage um, paper mache bunny, but it's definitely new obviously, but so cute. Look at these, our little star glue glasses. So Royal China made Star Glow, I believe. I have like one or two um, plates from the collection. But these are little glasses, which are so cute and they're only a dollar each. So fun for a mid-century bar. So I'm gonna grab these. I wonder if there's any more here to the set. These bowls are sort of cute. Those are the over there. Would you grab that out for me? Oh, how cute! I don't know if it's the same yet, but over there that looks cleaner. So. Oh, they're really cute. Yeah. Oh. Found this pretty cool Mickey Unlimited photo album. Awesome. They've got such good Easter stuff out. Wow. Poor Snoopy lost his ears. Sad because this is pretty cool. It is made in USA, 1976. Got some cute graphics as well. That's a shame. Got some Easter ceramics. Not poorly priced either. Really cute. Found these fun like 90s or 80s bunnies just like in a random aisle for $3. There's quite a few of them in here. They would be cute in like a nice like, little bright display. A lot of Easter plush. Lots of Easter baskets. Those little buckets over there are cute that I spy. They're a dollar each and they're pretty big, so they'd be hard to ship. And I think I actually like these baskets more than I found. How cute are those? So I think I'm gonna get these instead. Also, Blue is 25% off, green is 50, and pink is 75. Some 
Easter grass. Sort of cute, but it's probably from like the 90s or 2000s. It's an old like sugared candle holder, cartridge in a pear tree. It's pretty cool. I just found two really cute 90s Easter things. I might pick them up. They're really cute. So I just found these two Power Rangers from 1995, so like the originals. Um, a pink and a yellow. They sell for about two bucks each, so it's not really worth it for me. So I'm not gonna pick them up, but pretty cool find. I like to buy my these toys. Just found these cool, I believe vintage Tupperware measuring cups. So that's pretty cool. These are really cool. I just found them on the hook. I don't know what they are, but they looked very mid-century to me. And they are marked Japan on the bottom right there. I think they might be candle holders. I'm not sure. I'll ask Janine if she has any idea, but these are really cool. Oh my God, this basket. Hey Janine. Yeah. I had a question what you think these are. These are for pillar candles. That's what I thought. And they're very mid-century looking. I love the lines and they're marked yeah. Japan. I mean, those would look so nice in like a mid-century modern house um, yeah. decor. Those and are they're awesome, only 250. They're really cool. Yeah. Always gotta check the party supply aisle. Never know what you could find. Right, Jenny? Absolutely. Be kind. Topical. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> um, hmm. I have to go through this and see what I'm actually gonna get. I spotted this vase just here with the Easter stuff, and it's actually marked Hager, I think is how you say it. And Hager did a lot of vases and pottery. I think they're known for like their antelope pieces, but I really think this is pretty. It is $7 though. I'm going to see if Janine thinks it's worth it. How cute. This shaker is so cool. I've never really seen one like this before. It does have a marking. It does have a marking, but I can't quite tell what it is. The top is in rough shape though. Hmm. $4.99. But I think it's like, yeah, it's 50% off. Janine, look at the shaker. I think it's a shaker, right? Can you read that? It's got some stuff here. I couldn't read it. No, I can't see it enough. Is this kind of? Oh, oh yeah. what is it? I don't think it's a shaker, is it? Do you think it's a shaker? Maybe. It would usually have a strainer on top, no? Hmm. I don't know. Also, I don't think if I, I don't think I taped finding him, but he was literally just like on the floor over there. Oh my God, a blue mold like this for $8? What a steal. So this is the stuff I got from Unique on Long Island. First up, I'm gonna start with this mickey disney photo album i thought this was pretty cool it's in the original packaging still like it's never been used i'm planning on selling this it goes for about i think like 20 bucks on ebay there's a couple different styles that this came in from the mickey unlimited line so okay. i thought that was pretty cool and a you paid four dollars yeah good pickup for four dollars so next up, I got this, I think it's very 90s, late 80s, little Easter pack of like pad, pencil, sticker sort of deal. Love I remember having something almost exactly like that. Love the packaging. Mm-hmm. So 80s. So I picked that up. It reminded me of when I was a kid and I just thought it was so cute and fun. I, also with that... Uh, 80s 90s sort of deal i found this little egg tray and i thought this was really cute it's made in usa it was 99 cents if you want to get a closer little look i thought the bunny was really adorable yeah and a little duck on top and you know i thought this would be really cute to put up against the wall on a shelf um so i'll probably do that when i decorate for easter cute yeah I also got 
these two little stuffed animals. They were in a bag, but I, I opened them up immediately because I just loved them, <laughs> especially this one who has the name of Itty Bitty. Itty Bitty. <laughs> I thought they were so Holding cute. Holding a little egg. So cute. I thought they were so cute. This one's ears are kind of put on backwards and stuff. It's just gives it some character and I will probably display those for Easter on a shelf and do a cute little like, I don't know, something like like this and this and <laughs> kind of very like 90s kitschy, you know, I thought it'd be cute. So then lastly, I found this roller skating bunny, which, um, I, I just put some batteries in and, and turned it on. I'm not sure if he's supposed to light up in the nose and the eyes, but he didn't. But I'll tell you what he did do. He played the loudest song. It was song. so loud. I it think it was Easter me. Parade. Yeah. <laughs> it made Laura jump. It, I tell you, this, the sound quality. <laughs> if my kid had that thing and turned it on. I would, I don't know, I would be like, oh, it doesn't work anymore. Yeah, it was just, it was way too loud, but it does work. Um, I took the batteries out immediately, and it, it roller skates. It kind of like... It tries to. Well, it tries to roller skate. It's but, older, right? Yes, it is, I think it says on the back, made in Taiwan. Um, the pin they put on is pretty interesting. I don't know what that's about. Yeah, I think this is from the 80s. It's very interesting. Something I just like to point out is you can date it by the fact that it's wearing roller skates and not roller blades or, you know, like any other type of thing. So like roller blades would be 90s, roller skates would be probably 80s and earlier. Earlier. So pretty cool. I thought this was cool because you know what we find a lot? The Santa. You know, ringing the bell. Oh, and the drum that and walks. stuff, yeah. And um, I found the Santa who, like, plays the drum. So I, I've never found one. Yeah, I guess he's, Easter. The, he's the equivalent. And he's pretty big, mm -hmm. and he's only $5, so. Yeah, pretty cool thing. So that's what I found. Now on to what Laura found. So this was a really fun haul. I really am excited to show you guys mm -hmm. a lot of Easter, which is great because our website launches today. Yay! Yay! Um, if you go on to Vintage Glow Shop dot com at 8 p.m eastern standard time our website will be launching at that time so you'll we'll be able to buy stuff that we're showing today this stuff yeah so that's really exciting if you guys have any um questions before 8 p.m tonight shoot us a dm on instagram and we'll try to um, answer any of your questions but it's the first time for us so this is going to be a learning experience for sure on to what i grabbed the first thing I saw was this girly candle. And when it was in the store, he was turned around. So all I saw was the purple on him, but I did see the box. And I saw that it said girly. He's definitely newer because the package has a barcode. Yeah. I don't quite know the date. I don't know how, you know, late they um, produced these, but um, my guess would be maybe late seventies, mm -hmm. just based off the packaging and the way it looks. But yeah, here he is. He's a little duckling. He's got very bright colors really cute i love how bright the colors are i love the size of it too mm -hmm. it's a nice size it looks great in great condition it was never used but it still has the original box to display in if you'd like or you could take him out and display him as he is right there so really fun to find mm -hmm. i will be selling this guy he's cute and here's what he looks like in the box there were a bunch of planters and ceramic pieces none that looked too old but I did grab this guy. I don't know if I caught it on camera, um, but I saw him and he looked a little older to me, just the way his eyes look and the way he mm -hmm. was painted. I thought he was really cute, a really great size. He's bigger. Yeah, um, really big. Yeah, there's no maker mark on it, but I thought it had a really nice vintage look, really cute bunny, um, mm -hmm. nice size again, and um, will be something that will be available for sale tonight. Yeah. So. Great piece. I paid um, $3.99 for him. Mm -hmm. I took off the sticker already for photography, but not too bad. I found these bowls and I don't like picking things up like this because they're hard to ship because they uh, tend to be big. Yeah, they're kind of bulky. But these were a little smaller for a lot of yeah. the bowls that you see. And I just loved the illustrations across the entire border. Mm -hmm. I thought it was just so cute. 
So they they were also only 99 cents. I think I think they would be a little bit easier to ship than one of those big bowls. So mm -hmm. I took it and um, with the intention to resell. So these will be available as well. I and have you three have three, of them. right? Yep, three of them. All the same design. Really cute. I grabbed this Easter basket. So if you guys had seen in a previous video of, of ours, I found these at a Goodwill and they were like $3 each and I just wasn't willing yeah, to spend like that much. Yeah, that's way too much money. Yeah, and this one was only $1.69 and I love the colors. I saw two that were like this and they said made in Taiwan, I think. Mm. If any of you know or grew up with having these baskets... They're almost made out of like straws. There's a little bit of like air inside of them, you know? Yeah, if any of you grew up um, using these baskets as kids or receiving them, let me know because I am curious to how yeah. old they are. I don't think they're too old, but I love the color and the look of them. And I knew exactly what I was going to do with it when I got it. He fits in perfectly. <laughs> and what is that? This guy? Yes. We got him a few videos ago. Oh, okay. Okay. I, I didn't get him this time. Yes. Um, I okay. just I just knew when I saw this basket right. that he was going to yeah. sit in it. I'm like, that looks kind of familiar. <laughs> <laughs> I still have to take his tag off, but this is going to, I'm going to keep this for this year and just display really him like cute. this. Isn't you should cute? put some uh, some grass around him. Yeah, and a little plastic egg. Yeah. It would have been cute if we got those jelly beans and I could have put the yeah. jelly beans. Yeah. Found a strawberry shortcake record. How cool is she? She is at the. Um, she looks doing... like she's at the disco. Like that's yeah. Doing some live singing. She's cool. She's really cool. It does have the girl who had it must have put a little name tag on it. Mm. So I'm going to try to steam it a little bit and see if that helps it to not peel up whatever's underneath mm -hmm. um it was 350 and i think it was 25 percent off so i'm gonna try to resell this um dependent on whether or not that sticker comes up nicely in the glassware aisle i was really excited to find these little glasses i don't know how it's going to pick up on camera so these are the star glow pattern by royal china came in a huge set of china and dishes and cups and mugs and I've never seen these glasses before these this, are really pretty the pattern's really popular resells well and I think these glasses would resell really well too because how cute would they look at a vintage mid-century bar mm -hmm. it's got that starburst um look and feel to it so there are three of them and they were each 99 cents and these will be available for sale I'm surprised you don't want to keep them <laughs> I know we have too many in the glassware section I found this it was just so intriguing to me and it was 50 percent off so i paid 250 and for that price i just had to get it out of curiosity i thought it was a shaker that's my guess is that it's a cocktail shaker mm -hmm. um the top of it's like not in great condition so it has this like etched glass carved glass which i thought was really fun i have a friend that does a lot of 3d printing so i might send her over that cap to reprint and make brand new which would actually make it functioning i don't know if i would use it with that cap that it has on right now it's um, pretty which is really cool if anyone... it does have some markings on the bottom it's, like it's so more... hard to see it but if anyone knows what those markings are if they can make it out please let us know yeah i'd really like to know what this is i couldn't find anything else like it on ebay so yeah i grabbed this i thought it was really cool i found this planter i was contemplating getting it because it was seven dollars so it wasn't the cheapest planter I just thought it was really cool, very mid-century looking, and when I flipped it over, it does say Hager on it, which I know is a well-known pottery company. I think they're famous for doing those, like, gazelle-type vases and such, hmm. but I couldn't find any sold or listed comps to this, so I don't know what this is worth, if anything. But even if it's not worth anything, I really just like it. Yeah. So I grabbed this for us to actually use. Moving along, I found these. They were hanging on a shelf for $2.50. I wasn't quite sure what they were, and after looking at them, I'm pretty confident that these are pillar candle holders. So you just mm -hmm. stick the pillar. You see some wax on it too. Yeah, oh. and they're marked Japan. I just thought that they had a very mid-century, like Danish, clean line, you mm -hmm. know, <laughs> look to them. A very like UFO look. That too. Mm-hmm. And it's very mid-century. Very mid-century. I thought these would be fun to use for display. Mm -hmm. I don't know if like pillar candles are our type of decor within this color maybe so I'm not sure if I'm keeping or selling these yet but I just thought they were really cool I don't know how much these in particular can go for so if anyone knows let me know and the last thing I wanted to share I got this set of napkins off of eBay they were just too cute to pass up 
They're these really cute. little vintage Easter napkins. They're so cute. Great detail. You got your bunny and the chick on the back. They're watering the flowers. How cute. So cute. Um, absolutely love these. We'll definitely resell these. So a few of these will be available on our site tonight. And I think with that, and last, but certainly not least, the big guy in the back. The big guy in the back. I don't know if he's gonna capture it on frame. He's pretty big. What a great find. $7.99 from the thrift store. So yeah, he was only $8 right there. Mm -hmm. And this is a classic 90s blow mold. I will probably try to resell him I, through Marketplace on Facebook. We've had some good luck flipping uh, blow molds on Facebook. And you know, blow molds are just so hot. So if you ever come across a good price blow mold um, to keep or to sell, it's a win either way. So he's in fantastic condition, really cute, has the original cord. Mm -hmm. What a great end to an Easter haul. I know. And so the past few weeks, we've found a lot of Easter stuff that'll be up on the website. And the website will launch today. Yep, tonight. So if you're watching this now at around 4 o'clock, uh, and if you go on our site at 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time tonight, we'll have a lot of this listed. And, you know, that will be the launch to our site. And we're just going to keep listing as we find more. So... Thanks for joining us in this thrifting Easter adventure. We had a lot of fun yeah. and we hope you did too. Follow our Instagram for more info and to get all the details on the website. And we will see you guys next time. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye.